a movie that proves true love never dies. Hello fellow fellowers and welcome to Fanscene and today I have for you a forgotten flick, 1993's horror romantic comedy, My Boyfriend's Back. Produced by Sean S. Cunningham, who was the director of the original Friday the 13th, and starring Andrew Lowry, Tracy Lind, Matthew Fox, the late Philip Seymour Hoffman, and in a very small, very first appearance ever in any film, Matthew McConaughey. Before I begin, please consider liking this video, sharing this video out for everybody to see, and subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. I would truly appreciate that. Now on to the movie. Uh, I absolutely love this movie. This was a great... Uh, cult classic cheesy B, B movie it's right up my alley and I've seen this movie a hundred hundreds times since I was a kid and the movie centers around Andrew Lowry's character of Johnny Dingle who is so in love with uh, Tracy Lynn's character of Missy and you know it starts very much like a comic book it opens up with a comic book uh, very similar to like creep show and it flashes back to when they were kids. Johnny has loved Missy since they were little kids. He's at their birthday party. He's got her this really great gift that he wants to give her. And he just can't get up to enough courage to give it to her. And so we, after the birthday party, we flash forward to the senior year. And we see that Johnny is all grown up. And he has decided he has come up with the best plan to finally win over Missy. And, uh, you know, get the girl of his dreams. So his big plan to finally win over Missy is that he gets his best friend Eddie to pretend to rob uh, the convenience store where she works and he's going to, you know, bust, come in, you know, bust it up, save her and uh, ask her to the prom and, you know, being saved by him, she'll want to do it. So uh, his friend kind of chickens out and a real robber shows up and uh, begins to rob the convenience store. So Johnny shows up thinking it's his friend. So he's being all tough. He's trying to save Missy. And then the robber actually shoots uh, his gun and goes to kill Missy. And then Johnny jumps in front of it, gets shot, and the robber runs away. And then his friend Eddie comes in. And as Johnny's on the ground dying, he asks Missy to, to the prom. And she, goes, she agrees. She says yes. You know, he gives a thumbs up and he goes down and he dies. And short time after Johnny's funeral, he actually rises from the grave as a zombie in order to keep his date with Missy. And this is where the fun really truly begins in this movie because once he becomes a zombie and he gets out of the grave, people, yes, at first are a little shook, taken aback, but the way they act about Johnny as a zombie, it's more like he's a third-rate citizen now. It's not so much that he's a zombie. They're not, like, really scared of him, but they just, like, he's, like, the pariah of the town. They're prejudiced against him, and there's a lot of funny jokes about this, and, you know, uh, Missy is kind of hesitant at first, but then she actually starts going out with Johnny, and, you know, she really begins to like Johnny, and this has a really great love story at the heart of the, of the movie for all this cheesiness and uh, goofiness it's got a, a lot of heart to it and a good romantic story uh, you know and I really like it really enjoy it the performances are good and you know some some of the things that they say to Johnny and her throughout this movie are just freaking hilarious God if it ain't a zombie out with a living woman what do you have against Johnny besides the fact that he's dead he's a stinking zombie you idiot my dad will go berserk if he finds out I went out with a dead guy you stupid dead zombie pond scum there's a lot of prejudice against the undead horror of the undead trap zombie lover we want the zombie hey! Pretty damn active for a dead guy. Come on, let's get it, Greg. Hey, quit it! If you're gonna kill him, you're gonna have to kill me. I mean it. Ah. Well, I hope somebody eats a whole damn bunch of you. Not only that, there are some really cool uh, practical uh, effects moments in this. You know, because he is a zombie, he does to need people like he ends up eating Phil Philip Seymour Hoffman's character because he Philip Seymour Hoffman's character chases him through the school because he's hitting on you know Missy who is his friend Matthew Fox's Buck's girlfriend so he chases him to the school and he ends up grabbing this axe and he goes to swing at Johnny and ends up stabbing himself in the head and dies so Johnny you know he's he finds out in the movie that you know he has to consume <laughs> the flesh of uh, of people to stay alive or else he'll start to decay and fall apart so he, he starts eating Philip Seymour Hoffman's character and the way they react is not so much fright or anything it's just kind of like craziness and so like craziness is his in this they go to a, a mad scientist to try to figure out how to save Johnny and the mad scientist decides he wants to take Johnny and uh 
experiment on him and try to make a formula to keep people young and this is also craziness and the dreams like i said johnny has about messi are crazy like he dreams this one time of uh, uh, uh you know that he has to eat the dad of philip seymour hoffman's character all the way down and then uh he does that then he dreams it's messy and then uh, <laughs> then she's he he's like i can't eat you missy and she's like what i'm not good enough for you and she starts doing this whole scene like uh, eat me johnny eat me <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy you, you know the double entendre there and everything but it is a really good, really funny, interesting uh, movie. And it's just a really good, lighthearted uh, uh, Halloween-type movie. And for this time of year, if you're looking for something to watch with your significant other that is really funny, uh, it's got a little bit of horror to it, and it's got some heart to it. And it's, you know, that right amount of cheese, cult classic B-movie. I, I really would suggest uh, My Boyfriend's Back. It's a great film. Trust me. You guys should check this movie out. Put it on your list, and it will become one of your new favorites. So let me know what you guys thought about this review down in the comment section below, or if you have ever seen My Boyfriend's Back. Uh, you know, I know people have, but I haven't really met a whole lot of people that, that have seen this movie. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have. And if you like this video, please give it a like. If you did not like this video, I guess you can go ahead and give it a dislike. That's up to you guys. Once again, please share the video out. Subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Wherever you are, have a great, safe, happy, healthy morning, day, afternoon, evening, and night. I thank you for watching, and Godspeed. That's why... I want you to eat me. Don't you want to eat me? Well...